Oh boy. Today's video just got a lot more interesting. Look at that guy. A 5-star Cape Buffalo. This is the 4-star Mature that we were kind of watching. It was the first 4-star we had ever spotted. He looks incredible. And I really, really want to try to use the bow. We were unable to do it with the albino female that we shot. I don't want to fail on a 5-star. And not only just a 5-star, a really good looking one. Now, I believe it should be their drink time. I don't know why they're moving this way. But for the moment, we're just going to kind of creep out ahead of them and try to get into the position. But with the very obvious case that aging has happened here on our Moon Plains map, this hunt could get very, very interesting. But I mean, just take a second. Look at the size of him. He's huge. Like the one stars and two stars look big. They don't look that big when they're next to that. That is unbelievable. Well, that's not going to help our case. Just could not get close enough. And now it gets really, really difficult. So basically, this is our play. What we want to do is get this kind of posturing behavior that three of these Cape Buffalo are showing right now from the five star. I just don't see a way that we actually sneak into bow range because a Cape Buffalo somewhere in the herd is going to spot us and is going to do this and we just can't keep getting closer once they start moving our way. Now, if we just sit still, they'll typically go back, but we're never going to get close enough. So what we really need is for the five star to notice us and basically approach us. I just don't know if 60 yards is something we could trust. I mean, they're right there. They're still calm. And I think if we like keep on creeping closer, we're probably gonna have some of them doing that posturing behavior. We just either need the five star to, or we need to get them just a tiny bit closer. 40 yards, we'd go for it. I don't think I wanna go for 60, especially if he's not gonna sit still. Now the problem is, I don't know if he's slowed down in there. Oh, he's apparently right back in here somewhere. He's at 47 yards and he's just standing behind that brush. These other ones are getting so close. Kind of going broadside there. If he somehow stops in that gap, and he did, and there's one in the way, he's right there. Aha! We were so close. Had that one gone any other direction, I really think we could have made that shot. It is unbelievably tedious to get that close and we got to do it all over again wait a minute are these the same buffalo because I think there's two five stars and I'm not even sure which one we've been chasing the entire time I think it's the ones down here but I thought I saw a four star in here yeah that two star mature is not the same what in the world? I never even knew there was another decent one around here. Yeah, there is a four star. Okay. They're moving that way. They can just kind of do their thing. Maybe we can somehow get this first one. And then we're going to come back to that. On the other hand, I don't think it's good to let a herd with a five star just walk away. So maybe instead, if we can get a shot with a rifle, because that's him there, we might go for it, except that we could spook these, and then just go back and try to find them, because we could very easily lose this. I don't have a zone for him, I have no idea what herd this is, and frankly, I have no idea what is going on. If he's not going to trot, we could do this? Because I'd be happy to just go for it from here and at least someone have control of what is going on. I feel like there's very little at the moment and he's not making it easy on us. They're like 300 out now, but they're all moving around quite a bit. So if he'll just give us that shot, that's him there. He's got the big hooks. I want him to turn just a little bit more like the rest of them. Every other buffalo in the herd is doing it. Just angle up that way a little bit more. That's too steep of an angle on an animal that size, especially at the range we're looking at. 
that's a little bit more like what we're looking for. I think he's gonna turn even more. It looked like we smoked him. I'm pretty sure that's pink blood. We're gonna keep a really close eye on him. And he's gonna stumble and he's gonna go down. Oh boy. Uh Okay. Maybe we can use the bow? There's two of them. I don't want to spook those if we can help it. They're in a decent spot. But we need to survive this? And actually, I don't even know. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. We made a lung shot. Did we get away from that? Is it gonna... Where did it even go? Okay, he's leaving. They're still there. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. But we just killed a five-star and whatever this female was. He just went down all the way out there. So now, back to the original task at hand. Can we get this five star in bow range? And it would appear as if for now, the answer is no, but those buffalo moved off. I figured if that's gonna happen, we might as well go and claim our first ever five star cape buffalo, which is not the one we thought it was going to be. And only because there is a bug where like, for instance, if you get killed by a charging cape buffalo, You'll respawn back at the main lodge. Stuff that's so far away, like we're all the way up here in basically the northwest corner, could actually despawn and we lose this five star that we just shot. So we are instead gonna go ahead and get a quick photo and check this guy out. And I'm gonna say for now, that'll be good enough because we have a whole lot to worry about. Our first ever five star K Buffalo ended up being a 334 yard left lung shot. Got that pretty decent with the 300. I mean, energy was low-ish. And frankly, before it got to anything, it was already below the recommended energy. So we're lucky we got that guy brought down. 94% for him though. So gonna be a pretty decent score. 471, maybe it's not. What is the requirement for them? I think it's 470. It is indeed. So that guy was barely a five star. I do feel like the one we've been trying to get with the bow for the past hour plus is probably a little bit bigger but we're gonna go ahead back up here try to get the high ground enough to figure out where they're going and try to plan the next move i really think this has reached a point i just did not want it to reach but we're gonna have to rest back pre-drink time probably to like around 8 a.m and then just hope to set up in a position where they'll walk in and offer us a shot we just cannot get close again. We had that almost 40 yard shot that just didn't end up working out. And if not for that essentially failing, we'd have never found the second five star K Buffalo. So it worked out. This is the one that we shot while charging, by the way, I just remember that. So it is at the moment 3.13 PM. So if we rest, we can go till 8.13 AM. And I never like to do this just in case anything weird would happen with aging. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine, but I prefer to avoid it when I can. So that's him, 400 yards away. And as far as I know, they typically drink around where that marker is at like 260. So we're gonna try to creep in there. They typically will leave their previous zone a half hour before their new zone starts. So for instance, they drink at 9 a.m. They'll leave that zone at about 8.30. We gotta get here pretty quick. And we're gonna set up a little off the water. So if they don't kind of go right to it, we can still shoot 40 yards this way, and if they're right up against the water, we should be good. And basically, we're just not going to move. We can't risk alerting these things and having this same thing happen again. So we gotta let them walk to us. It might actually happen, and it's got me so nervous because we're gonna have to land this shot. I'm trying to watch whatever goes by first, and it may end up being him, but I wanna have a really good idea of what the range is gonna be. It's almost as if he just noticed us here. I think we're safe if we just sit still. Might be the moment of truth. He's kind of trotting through. Looking at around 50 there. I say if he slows to a stop, which I think he's going to, we probably have to try this. He's gotta be getting close to 40. That one on the left is sneaking in. Actually, maybe he's gonna sneak in. This is gonna be our chance. Kind of turn him broadside. Let's get to full draw. If he goes through here slow enough, I think we got to do it. It's got to be around 40. He actually just stopped a little shy where we need him to. Just like one more step. 
kind of let down. He definitely knows something's up, and if these get much closer, we are just in huge trouble. Just need to step out of there. I think he's about to. Are you let him clear this as well? Oh my god! We dropped him! Oh, that took forever. I've never had my heart beat so fast for just a regular five-star animal. And it was, it was as much because it was intense as it was like, if we mess it up, we might never get another shot. Unbelievable. This video went not even close to how I thought it was going to go, but we've just killed two five-star Cape Buffalo in the most unexpected way possible. And I really want to know, like, where did we hit a Cape Buffalo with the bow to drop it? This is one of those times, too, where I really wish we could actually move the animals around a little bit more. But we're going to call that good. Let's see. Actually, just double lunged him. I was so terrified. Literally because of, I think it was the kudu in yesterday's video. We took a walking shot. It was a little further away, maybe 70 yards, and hit him, like, way, way back. That was perfect. Just behind the shoulder. Double lung at 38 yards. He was in 89%. Is he going to be smaller? I was so confident he was bigger than the first one. 476. So he is bigger. What a bizarre hunt. We spot this guy literally outside of the lodge. And basically my whole thing was, if aging has happened, we might have like 5 star kudu or something on the map. And I knew that because of where the Cape Buffalo tend to drink, that they'd be pretty easy to just go and check. There may be 5 star kudu on our map, there may not be. That will be for another day because, oh my goodness, <laughs> that took forever. But it worked out in the end. We killed a 5 star Cape Buffalo with the bow. Probably for the only time. I don't intend to do that again. That was pretty rough. But it actually gives us this opportunity to put together a full multi-mount from one hunt. It's two 5 star Cape Buffalo. We can go with that. It's going to cost us 16000 to put here. And I hope that the horns don't end up clipping through. They are going to, actually. So we may have to change our mind here. Maybe this one works better? We're going to have to take down our 5-star Wildebeest. I'm pretty sure this won't clip. So now it's going to be, whatever the math is on that, 24,000 credits. That's still going to be close. Just a little bit of wiggle room in there. Maybe touching the fur. But I think that is going to be okay. What a hunt. One with a gun. One with a bow. Pretty cool looking. Having that over there in the corner. I wish we could have it kind of as our centerpiece mount. But I guess at this point. We might as well put our 5 star wildebeest there. There's a really cool mount for this too. And we have seen a number of promising wildebeest. I think there's a couple other wildebeest ones. But let's go with the three for now. And if we got to move things around, we will. But my goodness, we're losing credits fast. We had 130,000 before this early access period started. I should note, this is still being recorded in early access. But obviously, because the save file is the same, it's effectively the same as being in the live game. We're down 30,000 from taxidermizing all these things. And that is a very good problem to have. But hopefully in the next video, we'll go out, figure out what's going on with the Kudu population, and maybe check out a little bit more of the private land in the Northwest, but I'm absolutely spent <laughs> after all that. It was so tedious, so frustrating, trying to get close, and in the end, I actually don't even know why it happened. Maybe they were coming to the drink zone, maybe it was just pure dumb luck, but we got them, and like I said, that may be the only time we ever do it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.